Wow, what a day it has been. <sighs> okay, before I get started on what happened today, let me just say, again, my name is Randy. If you have not subscribed, please do so down below in the red box. Okay, so I have a confession. I went to Moffitt today. I know. I said it was going to be until February 14th. It, it was going to be February 14th, but last night, right when I was getting ready to leave work at like 5.30, they called me and asked if um, I could come in today and be there by um, 9.15. Well, I live about two hours away, um, but I did it. So I went to Moffitt and um, I got on a clinical trial, signed the paperwork to do the clinical trial. So stay with me. When I was here and actually go back and watch my last video that I posted about meeting my oncologist. That will fill you in on a lot of stuff. Today at Moffitt, I was given um, the opportunity to be on a clinical trial. Now this clinical trial, I can fall into one of two arms. So the first arm is, and it's all random, there's no, there's nothing that you can do better to pick to, you know, for, for the one option to be better. Anyway, um, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, so the one arm is, um, just taking the Linparza, which is the chemotherapy pill. It is twice a day, um, two times a day, and you will, oh, I will continue taking it um, for as long as it works. And when I say as long as it works, I mean I can take it either for a lifetime or if there's progression shown in my cancer, then I will stop taking it and we will try something else. So no progression is good news. That means the medication is doing its job. Now that is the one arm is just taking that pill. The other arm is taking the Limparza and an immunotherapy, which looking at my papers, cause I want to tell you guys the names and I should have been a little bit more prepared for this. Um, they gave me so many papers today. Um, the other drug is called uh, Atezolizumab. I don't know. I don't know why they name these drugs like this. This is craziness. Um, a TISO is what I'm gonna call it, a TISO. So, and that is an immunotherapy drug. Pretty much, from my understanding, what that's going to do, it's going to boost my immune system, it's going to fight harder against the cancer. So, we'll see. This, um, yeah, so we'll see. Well, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, the a TISO, I have to keep looking at the name. The a TISO is, an infusion drug, I would get that once every three weeks. Now, if you watch my last video, you're probably like, okay, well, if you fell into the arm of just taking the pill, why not do that here locally? I will tell you why. Because if I stay on this clinical trial and I end up in the arm one with just the pill, if I do show progression, I automatically get moved over to arm two and get the immunotherapy with it. If I were to just take the pill here locally, I would not have that option to move over to arm two. It would just, it is what it is, move to a different drug. So I wanna have that option to get the immunotherapy. Um, so with getting treatment in Moffitt, I will start out by getting, um, going through like a screening. And so the screening will be a vision test uh, or not, a, um, yeah, kind of like a vision test, a vision screen is what I should say. Um, so I'm gonna get my eyes checked. I, um, and they're checking my eyes because I have psoriasis 
and they want to make sure that I don't have um, monocular degenerative man, oh, disease. Oh God, I'm so bad, I know. Um, oh gosh, if my nursing instructors are watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's where they're gonna do the vision test. And then um, they're going to do blood work, fasting blood work. They're going to do a CT, um, a CAT scan and they'll do it from my waist up. And that will be the screening to get into the program, um, or the, the trial, I should say. Then I will start the medication. Exactly six weeks after starting the medication, they'll do another CT, and they will do another biopsy of that lymph, the, you know, lymph node that, that is, that has tested positive for cancer. Um, and they do that because they want to just see what the, you know, what is the drug doing to it? Is it working? Is it not working? Is there any change, any difference? Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I would have to go to Tampa once a week for the first the first several weeks um, I think it's about two months and then after that I would have to go there I think once every other week or maybe once every three weeks I would have to go there and um, that's to get the infusion I do have to get all of my blood work done there um, all of my treatments are done there or I'll say all of my treatments that's if I get on the the hand number two with the immunotherapy the immunotherapy would have to be done there I could not get that here the pill is an oral pill I would take that obviously at home every day um, but yeah so all of my blood work would be done in Tampa the infusion would be done in Tampa um, all of my tests, vision tests, blood tests, all that stuff done in Tampa. Cannot do that here because it is a clinical trial. So it has to be um, like research on research grounds or something like that. Um, the immunotherapy side effects. Um, they just, you know, it's they said it's very minimal, uh, very minimal side effects of the immunotherapy. You just, you know, you watch your blood counts. Um, maybe a little tired here and there, but I shouldn't have any kind of nausea, vomiting. Um, not gonna lose my hair, which I'm like, oh, thank God. Look how curly it is, guys. It's, um, <laughs> it's like little spirals. But uh, I'm really, really happy with the, with what I have going on right now, like with, Considering again the circumstances, this is the best news that I can get and I'm very I'm very happy with it because it could be a lot worse. Um, so Yeah, this is this is good Um, I think that's about it. I think that's all I got. Moffat is beautiful Um, I actually didn't get to go into the big giant Moffat one on campus today I went to their breast clinic, which is still very large um, very beautiful. Everyone is so nice. I actually feel like I'm at Chick-fil-A a little bit because they're always like, my pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> so I feel like I'm at Chick-fil-A sometimes, but they're all super nice. Um, my doctor, I'm not going to say her name for privacy reasons, but, um, my doctor is really nice. Um, she's really young, which I like that because she's kind of, you know, she's not old school. She's, she's newer into, you know, she knows about all the new medicines and, so anyway, I really like her. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping for good things and I have to go back Monday. <laughs> so I, um, like I said, I'm gonna document as much as I can while I'm there, but it's kind of hard because you can't have your phone out, you know, for, you know, it's for people's privacy and I totally get that. Um, but you know, I'll take pictures of what I can and try and do little video clips if I can. Um, certainly not gonna get myself in trouble for it though. But yeah, so that is where I am at. I will keep everybody updated. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe, please subscribe, please share. Um, it's really appreciated, it really is. Um, again, my GoFundMe link is down below. This money, again, is going to be for transportation. Um, you know, it's, it's expensive to drive 
to and from Tampa, you know, that many times a week, um, or that many times a month. And, um, you know, just the wear and tear, the gas, the food, you know, it's, I think, um, so on Monday, my first appointment is at, I think my first appointment is at like one. And then my last appointment is at one in the afternoon. And then my last appointment is at 7.20 at night. And then I got to drive back home and go to work the next morning. So yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, guys, I've been up since really early, like, <laughs> like 5.30 or something like that. And I've been on the road all day and just so busy. So I am going to go enjoy my son and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.